We may not always realize it, but art helps us change the way we see ourselves. That is why when artist Trevor Paglin imagined launching a reflective, non-functional satellite into low Earth orbit, the Nevada Museum of Art knew that his artistic gesture could help to change the way we see our place in the world. I think one of the most important things that art can do is give you a reason to look at something, almost give you permission to look at something. And that, that's definitely something that I think a lot about in my work and that I try to do in my work. This Orbital Refactor Project is very much like that as well. It's saying, here, I'm going to create a reason for you to look up at the sky and to think about what it is that you're looking at. Three, two, one. Trevor Paglin's Orbital Reflector is the first satellite to launch into low Earth orbit purely as an artistic gesture. Serving no military, commercial, or scientific interest, it is in many ways the opposite of every satellite that has ever been placed into orbit. Orbital Reflector is co-produced and presented by the Nevada Museum of Art. The Nevada Museum of Art is situated in North America's largest desert, the Great Basin. Nevada's been home to atomic testing, military installations, large-scale mining operations, and even experimental communities like Burning Man. So it really comes as no surprise that Trevor Paglin would approach the Nevada Museum of Art for a project of this scale that involves such great risk. Orbital Reflector is an, a work of art that takes the form of a satellite. It's about the size of a brick, and it gets attached to a rocket, is what's called a secondary payload, goes up into space, and then when it goes into space, it shoots out the side of the rocket, and that brick shape opens up. Inside is a giant reflective balloon. That balloon inflates to the shape of a giant diamond. What then happens is that as the spacecraft travels over the Earth, it reflects sunlight back down to Earth. So when it's night on Earth, the sun could be shining in space. When it reflects that sunlight down, it appears as a point in the sky slowly moving across the night sky. If we agree that the primary mission parameter is to get into orbit, get ejected from the launch vehicle, open the door, deploy the balloon. In order to realize orbital reflector, Trevor Paglin and the Nevada Museum of Art have enlisted the expertise of aerospace engineers and space systems experts, including Global Western and space flight industries. The satellite will travel to low Earth orbit on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in the fall of 2018. I worked on uh, satellites since 1979. Each satellite takes two to three years to build. So I have been responsible for over 15 that I personally was responsible for from zero to delivery. When we think about space and we think about the things that are exciting to us about space, it's the big questions. Who are we? Where are we going? Where have we come from? Um, what's our place in the universe? Russian avant-garde artist Kazimir Malevich was the first artist to imagine art in space. Others followed, designing self-propelled rockets that were never launched. While Malevich's artistic vision was never realized, the Soviet Union sent Sputnik 1, the first artificial Earth satellite, into orbit in 1957. NASA followed with Explorer 1 in 1958 and Echo in 1960. The mid-century space race was on, with the threat of Cold War conflict always lingering in its shadows. As the 21st century gives rise to unsettled global tensions, we again find an artist, Trevor Paglin, at the center of our global conversations about what space exploration and discovery could mean for our future. So artists have been going with people everywhere across the planet, including the Antarctic, which is as near as you can get to outer space on Earth. They've been going there for centuries. Artists and scientists are both engaged in inquiry. And there's nothing more exciting than hanging around with artists and scientists when they're working together. The one on the outside prevents the balloon membrane from being damaged by any part of the spacecraft. And they're in the field, and they're doing something and finding out something about the world together. And those stories are very powerful. Orbital Reflector makes visible the invisible, thereby rekindling our imaginations and fueling potential for the future. The thing that I hope people take away from the project is a sense that things don't have to be how they are. 
that um, it is possible to imagine different presents and to imagine different futures, and not only to imagine them, but actually try to make them.